two is a gigantic uh, standard. It will cover, uh, I think, 10 different worksheets of material. Um, basically, it just talks about the properties and, and relationships found in a circle. And there are a lot of them. This particular worksheet is just kind of getting you used to the basics, things that most of you'd walk through the door with, and just a few new things. Um, so let me kind of go through those. Um, I think that uh, you would know a radius, and uh, as I'm writing it, I'm sure you're looking over here, like AH uh, is a radius. There would be another radius, BH, EH, those are radii. Uh, you would know a diameter. A diameter is a term you should know previously. And that would be like B to E. Now, uh, I want to talk about, well, let me do one more and then we'll get to that guy in a second. Um, well, let's, let's do, you know what, I want to add in another, uh, another segment here. Let's add this one in. Um, D, E. Um, I want to add a new word. I think this one would be new to you is a chord, D to E. Now a chord would have uh, both of its endpoints on the circle. D is on the circle, E is on the circle. Using that definition, I need, you to, need to tell you that a diameter, because B is on the circle, E is on the circle, is a chord as well. It's the longest chord, don't forget that. So there are chords, uh, actually starting at C and going to D is also a chord. All right, there's uh, some new guys you wouldn't know, I doubt, would be secant. A secant is a line. Be a little bit careful with that. A secant is a line that intersects the circle once and twice. Now notice, it says secant, I could talk about the chord CD. Do you see the difference there? A chord is a segment and a, um, and a secant is an entire line. So there's a difference there to notation. There's also something called a tangent. And in this case, that is line FG. And FG is uh, an entire line it's not a secant because it does not intersect twice, it intersects exactly once. And that little point is called the point of tangency. It is the point F because it strikes it exactly once and in that location. So lots going on, some new terms. I think chord, secant, and tangent would be new terms to you but you'll get used to those, they get used a lot. Um, we talk about interior and exterior points. Uh, a center is an interior point. Point D is interior, inside. A, B, C is on, obviously, and D is, or G is an exterior point. Also, I wanna just, this is more to the next uh, experience, but we'll do it right now. We can talk about arcs. And uh, A, B is a, what they call a minor arc, minor arc. And what it means to be minor is that you are less than a semicircle arc. In other words, you're less than 180 degrees. And so this guy here is less than that. And we name it just like this, with like an arc symbol, the way you would expect it. This says arc AB. If we wanted to tell how big it is, we would talk about the measurement of arc AB, like we do the measurement of an angle. So we would say equals, I don't know, you know, 87 degrees or something like that. Now a circle is tricky because you don't know, am I going this way from A to B, or am I going the long way to A to B? The long way would be um, a major arc, major arc. And it gets its name because it's going the long way around. And so it gets three letters, A, C, B, same arc symbol, same representation. But it demonstrates to us that it's going from A on its way to C, then to B. Whereas this went straight A to B, major and minor arcs. The last thing I'll say is this diagram happens a couple of times in the worksheet. And all I would say to you is really all it's using 
is the idea of that there are some hidden radii in the diagram. If these two circles were congruent, which I think one of the questions talks about, then that length right there is a radius because it starts at center A, goes to the edge of the circle. And if you connected this one and it's the same radii, then you get this nice little isosceles triangle. Maybe you can find some angles there. If you connected it down here, you'd get another radii and another radii and a rhombus is formed and lots of little shapes. All I'm saying to you is just be, it's just an adding, subtracting game in there, and there's some nice little relationships to look at. Good luck with it.